Atlas to call. Will you come join us at the gas station? <laughs> about a half an hour into our hike and the temperature is maybe a little bit warm but not bad and the scenery is very very pleasant and then of course we continue to carry on with our Morocco theme looks like lunch so now we drink Berber whiskey which is Berber tea with lots of sugar and it gives you good energy for hiking and this is what you arrive to after hiking for about an hour and 40 minutes is not just a, a place but a huge carpet you take your shoes off and we're waiting for a lunch of tagine and other oh delicacies it smells so good already and maybe you can see there is our mule Look at him, he's really beautiful. Yeah, he is. Wow. I think we have the best looking mule in the mountains. Well, after a 90 minute lunch break that was as good as any restaurant meal we've ever had, we've resumed. We did a short, steep, ugly section, which was just a shortcut. And now we're walking a section of road. I don't know if the green in those trees looks as beautiful to you as it does to us, but that is absolutely a priceless color. Bonjour. 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 from our... Hey, what's the name of this hut? The, the name is called Obeshtamsul. Obeshtamsul, right. Yeah. And we are saying goodbye to Obeshtamsul and on our way from 2200 meters to get this 37 up and over and down to 32, passing by a lovely waterfall sometime in the next half hour. famous 97 switchbacks so this is the first of 97 switchbacks that we're going to be doing in the next what 10 minutes Judy so I'll sing 97 switchbacks to climb to the coal 97 switchbacks to climb put one foot in front of the other and wish you had your mother 
Ninety seven switchbacks to climb. Ninety switchbacks to climb to the coal. Ninety switchbacks to climb. You put one down and you head up to town. Eighty nine switchbacks to climb. Eighty switchbacks to climb to the coal. Eighty switchbacks to climb. You put one down, you head up to town. Seventy nine switchbacks to climb. Fifty switchbacks to climb. You put one down and you head up to town. Forty nine switchbacks to climb. And it's not easy to sing in thin air. True story. 27 switchbacks to climb. You put one down and head on to town. 26 switchbacks to climb. Yeah. He's done. <laughs> nice. Eight little switchbacks to get to the coal. Eight little switchbacks to go. You put one down and head off to town. Seven little switchbacks to go. Good morning, Canada. From 3,800 meters, looking down on our goatee friends and Imlil and Armad and beyond to the plains of Marrakesh. This guy's a little bit crazy. Ah. ah, look at that. I recognize our carpet. Woohoo! Oh, je suis, je suis très fatigué. Je m'appelle Kevin. Tu te perds, je dis. Et toi? Je suis fatigué. Approximately 100 meters above the refuge. Omar, Judy, and Kevin are making their way up Jabal Tukla, following about 4,000 people. We hear there's going to be a party up there with live music, bourbon whiskey, and dancing. So, we'll see you soon. Here we are, doing our last 100 meters. We're gonna pop around a corner and see that cute little shelter that indicates we've arrived. Sorry for the high altitude voice. Ladies and gentlemen, the summit of Dubko. Okay. Well, Judy, tell us about your day. It's kind of great day. Well, I have to say, we're not doing bad for a couple of pensioners. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. 4,167 meters. Above sea level. Hello. What are you going to do? So we are doing a big loop today. We're taking a different route off the mountain and uh, it's definitely a little bit more technically challenging here, but uh, 
but so far so good. Yes. Judy's just been filmed with that great mantra, always keep your eyes on the trail. This is without a doubt the most uh, intense debris field that I've ever seen. Looks like the wreckage goes way, way down the valley, maybe carried by snow. So we'll probably see some pieces as we walk down there. Hello, Judy. Hi. We should really just show people what we have here in the Tutkohat. This beautiful, gorgeous room is blessed with corner windows that look out on all of the dipshittery going on out between mules, their muleteers, campers. You can see the trail heading off to infinity. It smells like newly cut wood in here. The only problem is no heating. So Judy's wearing her down jacket and she's bundled up. In a down quilt and we've got blankets and it gets really cold tonight, so. Anyway, all's good. Good morning from the Tubco Refuge where our little party of three has spent our third and final night in this area. It's shortly after seven, and we're beginning what I believe is going to be a very beautiful, casual saunter down the valley towards the village that we were just in the other day with the hipsters, having tea and looking at their famous white shrine. So we bid adieu to our mules, and Saeed, Judy, and Omar, and I are Chuck. <laughs> and the call to prayer is serenading. How do you, how do you feel, Jude? I'm done now. I'm good, really, really good. Don't ask me more. <laughs>